Hello and welcome to Prudent News. Now a look at the headlines. United Opposition calls Tourism Department's beach cleaning contract a multi-crow scam, demands special discussion, speaker denies. Illegal plots in the state on rise with no regional plan. Opposition leader Pratap Singh Rane expresses concern over law and order situation in state. Delimitation of CCP boards not as per geographical boundaries but as per convenience of BJP, Montserrat says manipulation intended to benefit BJP. Anand Sheth takes over as new Speaker of State Legislative Assembly. Sheth elected as Speaker by 28 to 9 votes. And Supreme Court stays Center's decision to allow Jalikattu in Tamil Nadu. Dirio prospects bleak. Now the news in detail. While calling beach cleaning contract a mega scam, United Opposition demanded special discussion on the issue. However, Interim Speaker Marvin Gudino denied it. Rohan Kaunde, while charging the contractor of violating the contractual terms, called the contract a 75 crore scam as the beaches are in a mess. Both the contracts have been awarded to two companies having same directors operating from same office costing government almost 15 crores a year, much escalated above the actuals. He demanded a probe from the tourism ministry, but the minister was not ready with an answer. The last session, Speaker Sir, I have placed on the table of the house the whole file with cited photographs, videos, findings, ITI details, Sagre details which said that it was a beach cleaning scam. Our table of the house at the last session of our file with all findings Doriliasa charging that this beach cleaning is a scam. Kanjani, a place of mid Kilnasa. Kanjani, deduction Kinegala. Speaker, sir, Mosapoila Prashna is wasting the time. I am asking to a file she plays Kelly to a study Kelly. Kelly is all the findings Kinete Sangmara. I have placed through correspondence every Please sit down. Sikha sir, Panchatar Koti 75 crores is the outgoing five years. If this is not stopped, it is a serious issue of taxpayers' money. We want a half an hour discussion on this particular subject. Please sit down. Please sit down. Please sit down. Please sit down. Give notice to the new speaker after his election. The illegal plots in the state are on the rise with no regional plan. Opposition leader Pratap Singh Rane expressed concern during discussion on governor's address. He demanded that the export duty on INO should be waived off. Rane demanded that no detention till 8th standard pattern should be scrapped as there is lack of evaluation of students. While raising concerns about law and order situation in the state, senior Rane questioned proposed law to regularize illegal houses in the state. Um, see, in the uh, comunidades, plots are being sold. Openly, plots are being sold. There is no regional plan. Therefore, people are, without conversion, without anything, people are selling plots. Now, government was supposed to bring an act to regularize these illegal constructions. That has encouraged people to be, uh, even develop plots illegally. And that is why we are asking the government to bring its regional plan. 10% from 30% to 10%. I say, do away with the export duty. Passing a child from... Uh, up to 8 standard, just pass them without examination. This is wrong because 
most of the teachers, I am not talking about the students, don't bother to evaluate the child. There is another danger that is lurking. Lots of drugs are coming into the state, especially in, along the coastal areas. Last time I had brought it up in the house, uh -huh. and it is now spreading. Delimitation of the CCP boards has not been done as per the geographical boundaries, but as per the desire of the BJP. Santa Cruz MLA Babosh Ponsarath says, manipulation in the delimitation has been intended to suit the BJP. Nearly 14 wards represented by the Babosh-backed corporators have been altered, while just 7 wards of the BJP-backed corporators have been altered. Wards of Surendra and Ruth Furtado Kapil and Rudresh Chodankar have been kept intact. Watch special report. I, um, I, um, as for the information I got, that the deputy col uh, collector and even the, uh, the Mamlara put is, their foot uh, down, uh, down saying that this, uh, these inclusions cannot be done. In the current CCP councils, Ward number 1 to 4 have corporators from Babush back panels. This time, while denomination voters of all four wards have been mixed up, but still, Babush back corporators in wards 1, 2, 3, and 4 are confident of winning. There is chaos and confusion in Ward number 5 and 6. From ward number 5, some voters have been shifted to ward number 6. This ward number 6 will see the contest from the BJP-backed panel. The candidate for BJP is Sheetal Naik. Ward number 7 has BJP-backed corporator Shweta Lotlikar, while ward number 8 is represented by corporator Tony Rodericks. These wards are altered. Voters from ward number 8 have been transferred to ward 7, while ward number 9 represented by Surendra Futado and 10 by Ruth Futado at Kampal are intact. Kabir Pinto of Ward No. 11 is not happy with the delimination. Ward No. 12 of Corporator backed by BJP Vaitehi Naik has been altered. Ward No. 13, 14 and 15 have witnessed significant shuffling. Voters from Ward No. 13 and 15 are added in Ward No. 14. Number of voters in Ward 14 have been increased up to 1,215 voters. Yatin Parikh represents Ward No. 14. There is a cut in the number of voters from ward number 13 and 15. And here is an interesting twist in ward number 15. Mangirish Garkar is the front runner. He is backed by the BJP. Boundaries of ward number 16 and 17 have been altered. Both the wards are being represented by the Babush back corporators. Here the voters of ward number 17 have been transferred to ward number 18, which is under the BJP's hold. Have a look at this. Some voters from ward number 20 have been transferred to ward number 19. Both the wards are under the hold of Babush Monsarat. In last CCP elections, Rita Fernandez of Babush back panel had won just with four votes against the BJP candidate. During the delimination, 92 voters have been transferred from ward 20 to 19. This election, Minino from the BJP is likely to contest from the ward 19. Ward number 21, represented by the corporator Gangaram Kali, has seen a major change. 180 votes of ward number 18 have been transferred to ward number 21. Here, BJP's aspirant Pundalik Rao Desai is likely to contest. Presently, it is under the whole of Babush panel. Ward number 22 is unchanged. Surprisingly, ward number 23, represented by corporator Rudresh Sodankar, is untouched. Earlier, Rudresh had an alignment with the Babush back panel. Now he is with the BJP. Wards number 24 and 25 of BJP are untouched. BJP supporter Deepak Mapshikar is likely to contest from ward number 24 and Vastan Akshikar may contest from ward number 25. The candidature for present corporators from ward number 24 and 25 is in question for the upcoming CCP election. Mayor Subham Torankar's ward number 27 and ward 28 represented by the BJP have remained unaltered. Wards 29 and 30 are altered, while the ward number 29 is under the BJP's hold. 30 is with Babush back corporator. BJP supporter Rupesh Halankar is aspirant for CCP poll. The last CCP poll saw a mega alliance of the major forces in the city aligned with the BJP to defeat the Babush back panel. But still, then Taligo MLA managed to tie the poll results and rule the corporation in coalition with the Furtado couple. It will be interesting now to see the impact of this delimination. Delimination I was not involved. 
the government prorogative government election commission dma and collectorate has done it pure report prudent the supreme court on tuesday stayed on holding of jalikattu in tamil nadu modi government has lifted four year old ban on holding of jalikattu in poll bound tamil nadu court was responding to a petition filed by animal welfare board of india people for the ethical treatment of animals peta india and a bangalore based ngo against the practice it's time for a short break stay tuned